Hi, Vincent here. Today I'm going to talk about vMotion over internet using NSX L2 VPN. I believe this topic will be very useful to many of you when many of you are start to think about or even adopting hybrid cloud. So what is NSX L2 VPN? NSX L2 VPN creates a single logical layer 2 network across multiple sites. This could be in your enterprise where you have multiple data centers or you could be connecting your on-prem data center to a public cloud offering or also known as hybrid cloud. There's multiple ways that you can actually connect your on-prem data centers to public cloud via various options. It could be in the form of internet or WAN options. So if you are interested to find out what are some of the considerations that you might have or you should consider when choosing L or choosing your WAN or internet con options for your L2 VPN, please watch my the other video NSX L2 VPN connecting multi sites and hybrid cloud. NSX L2 VPN connects your sites, your multi sites using over internet or any WAN options. You are able to stretch your network across sites. It supports various network types. You could connect VLAN to VLAN, VXLAN to VXLAN, or even VLAN to VXLAN. Before I begin my demo, let me share with you my network design. So I have two sites in Singapore. One is in Jurong and one is in Suntec. They are connected via the internet. Bandwidth for each site, this Jurong site is about 200 meg of bandwidth and the Suntec site is about 100 meg. Latency between the two sites is about 5 to 6 milliseconds. So I have the management component over here and the compute environment over here. I'm using a NSX L2 VPN to connect the management component and the reason why is because I'm connected via uh, an internet which is pet address translated behind a public IP address. So typically in your production environment or in many of your environment, this management connection will be likely to be an IPsec connection instead of uh, a L2 VPN connection. With my L2 VPN connection, I have set up a transit VLAN and the reason why I set it up this way is because I could easily route multiple subnets across this VLAN. So in my case, I have the management VLAN and VDI VLAN being routed across to the other side. As for my compute, I would like to stretch my VLAN 99 across sites. Therefore, I speed up another NSX L2 VPN for the compute. And the uplink for this is on the management VLAN. Why did I did not use a separate connection? It's because I would just need to leverage the transit VLAN that has been set up or the L2 VPN connection that has been set up. So in your case, this will be likely to be another separate connection uh, on the public internet to connect the compute site. So with the management and vMotion routable across site, now I can actually vMotion my VM across sites. The compute NSX L2 VPN stretches my VLAN 99 and therefore when my VM is being migrated over the other, the other side, I will not lose the data connection. So these are the few steps that I'm going to do in my demo. I'm going to show you that the two sites are connected via internet by using ping test and trace route. I'm going to start um, looking at the web VM and I will test connection to the DB by browsing the web VM. Then I will vMotion the VM from one side to the other, showing you hopefully no ping drops. Then I will show the connectivity to the database server which is on a different subnet, uh, is actually working. 
So let's begin. So this is my jump hose that I'll be using to show you the demo. First of all, I would like to console into the management L2 VPN client at the Suntec site to show you the connection, the internet connection. So let me log in over here. Okay. So let me show you the service, the L2 VPN service. So you can see that it's up. And this is actually a client. The other the other side is actually the server. So I want to find out what is my server IP address. So what I will do is show config L2 VPN. Okay, so this is the server IP address over here, 101, 100, 182, 15. So first, I'm going to ping to show you the latency across the site. You can see it's around 4 to 5 milliseconds over here. Next, I will do a trace route. So you can see that it went over a few hops and it reaches to the other side okay. and it shows some of the um, the latency as well okay so that's the first step second i would like to connect to i'll show you the vm that i will use to vmotion so this web 90 0 2 okay and this is on this network over here Right, you can see that it's on VLAN 99. I created this port group. All right. So, log in over here. Try to log in. Okay, you can see the IP address is 10.10.99.251. Okay, anyway, let's do an if config. Okay, let me ping the gateway which is 99.1 you can see that the response time is less than one millisecond so showing that you know this is the at the same site um, next I will log in to the VDI okay, this is the VDI desktop that I have so I'm going to ping the same web VM okay, you can see that it's there's connection and there's less than one okay, let's do the ping again it is less than one Millisecond. Okay, and I will go to the website and it will actually query the database. And you can see that uh, it's successful. Okay, let's now begin to vmotion the VM to the other side. So, right click on this VM and I will migrate. So, since I do have shared storage. I will have to change both the compute resource and storage. Uh, choose the, the other side. Choose this host. Okay. I'll choose the storage. This is a uh, local storage. Choose the folder. Okay, the network. So I previously I already have set up the network, uh, the same VLAN over at the other side. I'm going to set VLAN 99 and this is actually on the other side. Okay. And so you can see that the V motion has uh, started. So let me show you, see there's no, um, the, the continuous ping is uh, ongoing. So I'm going to let it run to show you the exact time how long is it going to take? 
you can see that um, it started off at 12.36 p.m. Okay, so it's completed and it takes about 5 minutes. Alright, so this is actually disconnected because I opened the console from the other vCenter. So what I'm going to do now is, if you look over here, so this VM has been a uh, vMotion over to the other side now. So I have to launch the console from here. Just give me a minute. Okay, let me open console. 
back here. You see that the ping uh, is continued without any dropping. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break the ping and I'm going to scroll up. Screw up for you to see that there's actually no ping drop. Okay, good. I believe there's no ping drop. And now let me go log into the VDI and do a ping. You can see that you know now the latency has increased because it's over at the other side now okay and let me load the web page again 1010.99.251 you can see that the page has loaded successfully and it has connection to the database so the routing is actually working as normal so what I'm going to do now is uh, to show that it, it is actually over an uh, L2 VPN connection. I'm going to do a continuous ping. And what I'm going to do is to, to tear down the, the L2 VPN, VPN connection for the client. So if I go over at the compute side, oh my God, sorry, it's over here. And I go to over the ages. secondary and this is the compute VPN and if I go to the VPN connection you can see that there's actually an L2 VPN so let me disable the connection this is actually let me see so let me show let's see this so it's up and probably maybe I will disable the configuration So it's actually disabled. So if you go in and take a look, you can see that the connection has dropped. All right. So let me now enable it back. Okay. And you can see that the connection resumed. Okay. So this is the end of the video. I hope. Uh, this video is uh, useful to you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.